What's up crew, Matt here and this is vlog number 99. And I got myself a medal and a trophy, which means it was a sports weekend at the Vasallo house. So, first I want to get into the vlog. Had a great question on one of the previous vlogs as far as material and the Caesar heat transfer vinyl and a newbie who had a question as far as the different types of materials. So the question was, What's the big difference and when do you use the different materials when it comes to the Caesar Easy Weed Stretch, the regular Easy Weed, and the Easy Weed Extra? Okay, which is a great question because those of us just starting out, that's a tough question because we don't really know the difference in when we use what, right? So, just to let you know, Easy Weed, okay? Easy Weed is the most... Kind of versatile that you use on most things okay just the standard easy weed just to let you know when i got started and i couldn't really have the stretch and the extra and different things i used the regular easy weed on different things like the umbrella which you would technically want to use the easy weed extra has a little bit stronger adhesive on it which is going to adhere to that umbrella type material a little bit better so the Easy Weed Extra has a little bit stronger adhesive for those types of unique items. The regular Easy Weed has a nice soft feel. The Easy Weed Stretch is for your different polys, which you can press the regular Easy Weed to the poly as well. But if it's a stretchable, where it, the, uh, I'm trying to give an example, maybe a gymnastic leotard, right? Or a, um, a, a dry fit shirt that's more of one of the stretch compression shirts. Definitely want to use the Easy Weed Stretch on that. Now, Easy Weed Stretch is a very versatile um, material as well. So, if if I were going to pick kind of one product that I would want to use on most of them, because it, I feel like it has the softest feel, it has that stretch and the rebound, I would probably stick with the Easy Weed Stretch and use that on most of my products. Because you can still press the stretch, the extra, and all of that on a poly or a cotton or all the different materials. When you get to the nylon, that's where, like, the drawstring bags, that's, again, where you want to use that Easy Weed Extra. Can you get away with the regular Easy Weed and the stretch? You can, as long as it's something that's not going to be laundered a lot and it isn't going to have as strong as an adhesive, but you could get away with it if need be. But to make sure it's going to stay on there, that Easy Weed Extra is going to be a little bit better for that. Give you a good example. We did some uniforms about two years ago, football uniforms, okay? And some football uniforms have a polyester coating on it. So football uniforms that have a polyester coating on it, you definitely 100% want to use an Easy Weed Extra to get that stronger adhesive. What happened is we didn't put, we didn't know, we got some Nike football jerseys and we just used the regular Easy Weed on it, okay? The white uniforms were perfect. The red uniforms had a coating on it. All right, because they had that coating on it, all of the numbers started falling off the first game they played. Like literally, they were they were messaging us and calling us as kids were getting tackled. The numbers were just coming off because it had that polyester coat or it had that coating on it for the polyester. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an easy way, but kind of a way to check to see if it has that coating is just to do the water test. To put some drips of water onto the actual material. If it beads up, kind of like a car with when you wax a car and it beads up, that kind of gives you an idea that it has that coating on it. If it sinks into the material and into the fabric, then it probably doesn't. So that's probably the best way to see because a football jersey isn't going to say, hey, it has this coating on it. You got to kind of figure that out on your own, okay? So now that we learned our lesson, anytime we do football uniforms, we always use the Easy Weed Extra, okay? So it really depends. The Easy Weed Extra has a little bit thicker feel. The regular Easy Weed is kind of a, just a good feel to it. And then the Easy Weed Stretch kind of has the softest, thinnest feel. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit if you're getting started in the heat transfer vinyls. But three different Easy Weeds three different purposes, but you can mix and match them a little bit. You just got to be careful on some items. So hopefully that helped. Now to the medal. You can see only one medal today, this weekend's Jackson's weekend. So 
They played in their open tournament, which is all of the best teams in the area here, and they won the tournament today. So Jackson had an awesome weekend. Team had an awesome weekend. And you can see the first place trophy here is a pretty big trophy, right? Look at that thing. This thing's like as tall as Jackson is. So good weekend for them. You can see the trophy will sit right here by me. We'll just hang out. But hopefully the vlog helped you guys out today. Congratulations to Jackson and his team. Maddie's up next weekend with another gymnastics competition. And Jackson has a uh, tournament as well. So staying busy. Charlotte, we're at the NBM Charlotte show in two weeks. So if you're in that area, definitely come by. But thanks for watching, guys. And of course, comment below. Give me some more amazing questions for the vlog. We're on vlog 99, which means vlog number 100 is tomorrow. We're going to have to do a giveaway for that vlog and something cool. But always subscribe to the YouTube channel right over here on my little trophy. And check out all the vlogs right up there in the corner. And check out the website, therhinestoneworld.com right there. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys all have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow. Later.